is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I wore in my last video. If you haven't seen my last video, it was a drugstore haul and I will link it down below. But I received a lot of requests to recreate the look that I was wearing in that video. So that is what we did today. I absolutely love it. I think that it is so appropriate for the summertime. You can wear this look during the day and substitute the glitter that I used for a very light shadow or you can wear this look for a night out it is perfect for both if you are new to my channel then welcome I hope you're here to stay don't forget to like this video and subscribe before you leave that way you are notified for any videos in the future if you would like to see how I created this look then please keep watching so first I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and applying that to the face using the Eco Tools Beauty Sponge and I have been loving this lately. I think that it's better than the Real Techniques one and it is very very close to the Beauty Blender so definitely pick this up if you're looking for a good dupe. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm applying a brow bone highlight first to help the crease shades blend a little bit better with it. And then I'm going into this light orange shade and applying that to the crease with my Sigma blending brush. So the whole trick to this look is to keep going back into the shadow and building up the intensity of each and every shadow that we're applying. That way this look comes out very bold, very intense because that's what we want with it. So I took my e.l.f. blending brush into the medium orange shade and again I'm building that into the crease and then you're going to see I'm going to take my pencil brush and go into the very dark burnt orange shade and apply that to the crease as well. Every single shade I'm trying to apply it a little bit more precisely than the shadow previously that way we have a very nice gradient effect on the eyes. After applying that shadow, we are going to go into the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NC35 with our e.l.f. concealer brush. And we are going to carve out a half cut crease, meaning that we're going to start from the inner corner and then we are going to go halfway into the crease and across our lid but we're going to leave the shadow on the outer corner there and then after we apply the concealer we are going to tap it out with our finger to help blend it out especially the edge separating the concealer with the eyeshadow now I'm taking a very warm dark brown and blending it into the outer corner and blending it with the concealer that we just applied. Then I'm going into the Stila Magnificent Metals Kitten Karma and wherever we put that concealer we are going to follow the shape with this glitter. The Putting down the concealer first helps us to kind of map out where we want to put the glitter. That way we don't get really messy with it and it just makes everything that much easier. So after we apply it, you want to take your finger before it dries and pat out the edges. That way there's not a very harsh line between the glitter and the eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the same dark brown warm eyeshadow and just building it up again into the outer corner with my pencil brush and you want to be careful not to get too much fallout with the glitter so just blend with a very light hand and then I'm going into the Inglot number 77 gel liner and applying a wing I applied my mascara and my lashes off camera this mascara is from Mac I believe it's the false lashes mascara it's a sample and then the lashes that I'm using are the Coco lashes in Amore after applying those off camera, I went in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 Medium and apply that to all of the areas that I like to highlight. I'm also using it to clean up the edges of the eyeshadow to create more of a wing shape. So we're applying this concealer underneath the eyes, on the chin, and the forehead like always. And then we're going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. I'm still using the Eco Tools one. And I love the shape of the flat end for blending out concealer because it really allows you to get underneath the eye to do that. Plus, I found that it was very helpful in cleaning up the edges of my eyeshadow as well. After that, we are going to set this with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 
light medium and I am in love with this guys if you haven't picked it up you need to it gives beautiful coverage but without looking cakey underneath the eyes and I'm telling you it makes your under eyes look poreless so definitely pick this up maybe pick it up in a shade or two lighter than your natural skin tone like I did because I like using it for highlighting purposes but you can also pick one up that matches your skin tone to set your foundation as well so now we're going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm taking that medium orange with my pencil brush and smudging that underneath the lower lashes. And then I'm going to take that brick orange, the darkest orange that we used with the flat definer brush, and smudge that as close to the lower lashes as we can. That way it gives a little bit more of a smoky effect and brings more dimension to the lower lash line. Now we're going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This is the drugstore highlighter that everyone has been talking about lately and for good reason. It is the perfect gold, no shimmer, no sparkle, just straight sheen on your cheeks and it looks beautiful. So then I'm going in with the Maybelline Contour Kit that they just came out with in the lighter brown shade in the palette and I applied that with my elf blush brush to the cheeks and then I used a very fluffy brush to apply the bronzer to my forehead and then I used the same powder brush to blend everything out on the cheeks. So I'm going in with the second shimmery shade. It's kind of rosy in tone and I just lightly applied that to the cheeks kind of just to give a very light sheen it really didn't give much color on my skin tone but it just gave a beautiful sheen and then I took the darkest color in the palette and used it to contour so now I'm applying the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in the shade Pink Lemonade. It is very, very nude, I know, but you can always use something that's a little bit darker if you're a similar skin tone to me. But this has a very beautiful peachy undertone and I've been dying to use some of these lipsticks. They are extremely comfortable to wear on the lips, super pigmented, and who doesn't love the packaging? But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any other types of videos you guys would like to see down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.